Pagsanhan, damon na. Damon na. Damon na. Damon na. Ayun yung budo, no? Ayop, nakapato yung 35. Ayun yung 35. Isa sa mga sikat na kinakainan ng bikers ay ang binalot sa harap ng pagsanhan. Parang sikita kayong cleavage mo. Well, those are pegs, 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 pegs. Okay. Hey guys, uh, Marvin here. So in this video, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, show you guys some random shots of the trip of the what you call the reverse Laguna Loop where you start from usually from Alabang area or from Metro Manila going to Alabang all the way to Kalamba up the way to Mabitak and up to Masinlok and then you go up to Teresa or practically naman magdaan sa may Halahala or sa may Angono so it's up to you I'm sure a lot of you guys have done this before and this is pretty much uh, something that uh, I enjoyed. Medyo nalaspag ako ng matindi dito sa ride na to. Hindi kasi ako umiinom ng Hydrite. And that's one of the things that I would recommend. Uh, yung Hydrite, ginagamit when nagbigay LBM. It's one of the best ways for you to recover when you're tired. So, Ilan ba kami dito sa, sa ride na to? Uh, lima. We have Marcy. Yun, sa harap. Uh, we have Vince as well. Right there. Um, another person is si, si Crazy John Lloyd na humahataw lagi. Na nakakasabay kong tumatwaan ko sa Tysigil. At syempre, ang aking office mate na si Odi. The Muscle Man Odi. Pag nasa Madbitak era kayo, look for the check and flag. Diyan nga pala kami nag uh, Kalamansi Juice. Kakaiba, hindi kita kasi nang nagsuserve ng Kalamansi Juice on the road. Isang ba, so uh, they charge 20 pesos. And, uh, yan, kapag reverse Laguna Loop, um, ang satisfying part is going down the hills. Siyempre, kapag may ahon, may downhill din. Um, medyo ingat lang ngayon because ginagawa yung karsada Ayan, ito yung nakikita mo medyo in-scrape nilang ibabaw uh, for the new asphalt to be laid out na matagtag and then bigla naman siyang maging smooth again just like what you're seeing now um, be extra careful because going down would really push your your downhill skills uh, especially maraming sasakyan um, may mga ilan-ilan din nag-overshoot at maraming ring sasakyan especially pedestrians sa tatawid especially dogs may hirap palabangan yan bigla na lang kusulput yan uh, going down we were probably traveling traveling at 40 to 45 kilometers an hour And in a few seconds, yeah, lumabas na si Crazy John Lloyd. Ang daredevil lang downhill. And yeah, boy, banking, banking yan. <laughs> Try to check out uh, his shot going down.
At kapag puro patag at uh, medyo mainit na, medyo tinatamad ka ng pumadyak eh. Pero syempre, nandiyan ang tricycle. <laughs> Minamaximize ang drafting. Uh, usually, uh, magda-draft ako sa tricycle kapag ang takbo niyan, mga 30, 35, para to save on energy moving forward. It's not something I recommend for folks who are not you know, familiar or you don't have ex- enough experience yet because it takes a lot of skill and um, alertness to do this. Pero when you want to save energy, especially moving on a flat surface like this or flat pavement, uh, it would really, really save you a lot of time traveling. Um, siguro at this time, we were running at 45 kilometers an hour. And there are times tricycles would go up to 50. And uh, effort is still there. But yeah, it would it would really make the traveling faster and efficient. That's why when you do pelotons, you maximize the draft. Because you don't have to save a lot of energy for you to move forward. Ayun, tumira na naman si Crazy John Lloyd bumuntod sa kotse. We were just so lucky that day na medyo gloomy. Hindi masyadong mainit. Pero mainit pa rin. Uh, pero hindi masyado unlike the past few days during the summertime. And again, if you love nature, you love you know, rice fields, you're left and right. This is probably one of the best places to go to. Tabang po mga Jack, ayun sa kaliwa si Muscle Man Odi. So if you want a route that has the flats, the climbs, the reverse Laguna Loop is probably best for you. It will give you 160 kilometers of distance or above depending on your location. During the rainy season or just like this time of year, uh, left and right maraming palayan na patubo pa lang so you would appreciate the vast greens of Laguna area or the loop Nicer, uh, the Kaliraya Lake would be a better view. Uh, if you're coming from Laguna, it's on your right going up. Uh, it will probably give you around three, three kilometers of climb. Banayad lang naman ng ahon, pero you know it will make your heart rate go up. Um, if you're planning to do this trip, you don't have to worry about the food. There's plenty of restaurants or mga karinderia left and right. Um, what are my recommendations? Actually, lahat naman sila masarap, lalo na mga lutong bahay. Yan ang mga gusto ng mga bikers eh. So, when it comes to the food, 
you know, pretty much affordable. Meron, meron din namang mga fast food. The one that we're used to, Jollibee, McDonald's, all those things, ma- maka- matadaan mo along the way sa bayan. And when you are doing a single pace line, make sure to check uh, kung nasa likod pa ba yung mga kasamahan mo. Hindi man namin ito masyado na nagawa. Pero if you want to retain a single pace line, it is best that you look at the back so that the speed of the other folks or they're gonna try to catch up with you, try to slow down. If you are running at 30, slow down at 25, and then you can always go back to 30 once uh na sila. And uh, here's another shot of us doing a single pace line. Uh, we're taking it slow on this uh, side so that yung mga nasa likod makahabol. And one of the things I mentioned earlier is to maximize the draft of the group. Uh, here, uh, meron kami single pace line and palitan lang kami ng every 5 seconds, you know, rotating uh, pace line para hindi kagad mapagod. Um, so far, nung tinlayan namin yan, going to or along Kalamba or along Laguna area we were moving at uh, around 30 to 35 kilometers an hour um, and because of this um, na conserve ng energy nakapag conserve ng energy ang group and we were able to move faster uh, sabi nga ni Percy kanina we were at uh, Pagsanhan at around 9 o'clock and we left uh, Metro Manila or to be exact around San Juan area or Makati area at around probably 5 o'clock when you're doing a single pace line try to move very close uh, in front of the rider um, to be on the side always probably around 12 to 24 inches away from the front tire and the rear tire of the rider in front of you. Just in case kailangan niya mag swerve to the left or to the right, hindi ka tatamaan. Because if that happens, you can easily crash and hurt yourself. Um, one of the important tips I could share when you're doing a single pace line is that you put the lahat ng nagra-ride. Mayroong cyclometer. Si Crazy John Lloyd kasi walang cyclometer. When we said na, oh, 30 kilometers per hour lang, he was actually doing 35. So, nangyayari, people had to pedal faster. Uh, yung downhill from Bugarin uh, on the right maraming sasakyan Le- actually left and right hindi ko na alam kung bakit maraming tao sa area na yan maraming nagpark hindi naman about the windmill but I think there was some sort of an activity that's happening and ito na si John Lloyd uh, preparing for his near near will moves again going down here There's uh, Marcy over there on the right. And he is doing his uh, arrow position. Going down. And this is something that I wouldn't recommend as well. You're gonna do the on the side. Malami kasing uh, obstacles sa uh, side na yun eh. Going down, uh, we were probably running at 45 kilometers an hour. There, in front of us, you would see uh, the turbines. Actually, turbine is the correct term. Hindi naman talaga siya windmill. It's not milling anything. 
so the correct term is actually turbines, the turbines of uh, Hililia. At isa sa pinaka nakakapagod, pabalik. Pag ikaw ay nag, uh, reverse Laguna Loop, ay ang traffic ng Antipolo. Uh, ito yung pagkatapos ng Teresa Climb. Sa lubong yung ganang napakaraming sasakyan. Lahat na sila nasa labas. So, hindi ko recommended na magdaan kapag weekends. Pero syempre, weekend rider lang tayo. Uh, medyo gagamitan mo rin ang skills ang pagsingit-singit para lang maka makauwi ka kagad uh, it's actually very very narrow it's very difficult even for a bicycle <coughs> so you'll see here na I have to go to the center lane para lang mas mabilis ang galaw And there you go, that's uh, pretty much the last part of the video. I wasn't able to record uh, the tickling downhill, pero umulat kasi ng malakas 